Hi folks, this is John. Uh, today I have another special mission knife that I'd like to share with you. This is the mission SAR TI. That would be the S-A-R dash T-I. SAR being survival and rescue and TI meaning titanium. This is the knife with the sheath. This is one of Mission's standard sheaths. Um, it generally fits any knife that's about 12 inches overall with a blade of around 7 inches. See the eyelets here? Ideal for uh, tying down with any sort of a paracord. On the back, you'll see a very adaptable uh, set of straps and loops. Ideal for Molly perhaps. Um, on the front, hopefully you can see the, uh, the rather large pocket on the front of the sheath. Uh, tough Velcro and additional piece of uh, elastic strapping. This would be an ideal sheath for one of Mission's larger uh, folding knives, perhaps any folding knife that you like to carry. Uh, additionally, you, you could fit a uh, one of our other sharpeners, the NMS sharpener, uh, generally non-magnetic sharpener is what that means. Um, an ideal uh, extra pouch for any uh, for anything you might want to carry. Uh, here at the top of the sheath, you'll see the uh, rubber retaining ring and additionally you'll see the nylon strapping with a uh, non-magnetic snap. Perhaps that's made of brass but I'm not positive. Um, so if you were to take off the retaining ring off the top of the knife, remove the or unbutton the nylon strapping, you can unsheath the Mission SAR knife. Again, this is the SAR Titanium. You'll see marked here on the tang, SAR, with the newest Mission logo. Interesting about this knife are the logos on either side of the handle. Uh, in this case, you'll see the newest logo of the Mission knives. Um, Mission in crosshairs sort of in an italics. On the other side you see Mission in rather bold, all capital, also in crosshairs, um, all caps, straight up and down, not italicsed. So you'll see perhaps that this is a joint effort uh, in, the, in ownership where the previous owner had started these knives and the current owner of Mission Knives did indeed finish those. Uh, it's a limited edition of knives. Only 45 of the SARS have been created. Uh, each one is serialized. And interesting about that, if you look at this side of the knife and this side of the knife, there is no serialization. There's no numbers whatsoever. Um, but inside the handle, and I've seen this myself, uh, the knife is serialized and I believe it would be with like an electric engraver because it is done uh, sort of in a, a, hand, a freehand script uh, telling you which knife uh, in, this, in the series that you've purchased. You'll see that this knife here, according to that number there, is number 13 out of 45. This one is my personal knife that I will keep in my Mission Knife collection. Lucky 13. Um, try to give you a little better view of the blade. There is just a little bit of oil on it right now. Probably something as harmless as mineral oil. That's what I generally use on any knives that 
um, I'm trying to clean up or keep uh, in good condition. We'll take a few minutes here, give the camera time to focus, and perhaps get an idea what the grindings are on the blade and what grinding is involved in the sharpening. The top edge is not sharpened. Many of Mission knives, um, you have that option where you might want to have a sharpened top edge. This one I would say is a little thicker, probably not an option for you. The handle is an anodized aluminum, black, and the two bolts, the two sex bolts, are titanium. So this whole knife should have a non-magnetic registration as far as any sort of testing would be concerned. So this is just an up-close look at the Mission SAR tie. Only 45 have been created. And generally speaking, I've seen these listed between probably $650 and $750. Thank you very much. Uh, please visit AAA Knife Deals or MissionKnivesWorld.com if you'd be interested in this or any other mission knife. Thank you.